Here we go. As an addendum to this button here that doesn't do anything and mentions the start page, I found out that there is actually some plumbing for it in Shell 32. If we look at the Shell install script, which runs obviously when you install it, there's mentions of vid thumb view, the vid stands for view ID, thumb view, that's the normal thumbnails view, vid web view, that's the normal web view, and vid start page. Now this isn't mentioned anywhere else in the script, so it doesn't get installed or anything, but there is a mention of it, so I went to see if there's any usage of it in the actual Shell 32, and if it's being used, well, how? And there is. If we look in something that's called the refresh of the def view, the def view is the main folder view thing, you can see there's a mention, there's a usage of it here, vid start page. What this refresh function does is it looks at the settings that are set for the shell, and it specifically checks if Active Desktop is on, if the icons are hidden, and if the Start Panel is on. And after checking if the icons are hidden, which doesn't really matter for this, it checks some extra flags, and it checks the second bit of that. And if it's set, this means it's not set. So if it's set here, then it uses the Vid Start page, and if not, if we scroll down, we can see it uses the Web View. Now, since this is a public structure of Microsoft's that they've let other people use, we can actually look at what this second bit of the extra flags means. Oops. Now these are all the original flags, and you can see there there's hide icons and web views there, and active desktops up there somewhere. And if we scroll down, these are the extra flags, these were the one next to them here. And the second one is this one here. It says new for Whistler, which is a comment in Microsoft's headers, so you can say it's not been updated for a while. It says indicates if the Whistler start page mode is on or off. Now, I tried setting it using this actual function, should get set settings, but it crashed for some reason. But luckily, this shell state, which is what this structure is called, is actually persisted in the registry. So if I go into regedit, and this is HKEY current user software, Microsoft Windows current version explorer, there's a value here called shell state. If you open it up, this is a persisted a persisted version of that structure we've just seen, except it's got a size in front of it, so it knows how much to load. And if we go to these last four zeros here, they correspond to the extra flags. If we change the first number to a 2 and save that, then we can get rid of that, we don't need anymore. And if we go to Active Desktop and turn it on, and we don't have to hide the icons, that doesn't have an effect, but it shows it better. And then if we do all that, then log off. Then when we log back on again, we get... Why hasn't it happened? <coughs> and if we log on again, we get a half-working... Well, it's not really start page, but it's a half-working view of the desktop folder and you get this on the left hand side which is like the normal folder view isn't it and then we get this bit that doesn't work this is where the list view would be with all the icons and it doesn't work you can't right click in it or anything it doesn't work these buttons work though and you can go to my documents and um, my computer as you normally can and I think that's about the extent of this start page as you can see this bit doesn't refresh at all so it stays with what was rendered there last and yeah, it just it doesn't work properly, but I just thought it was something interesting in this build. Um, the web view, I uh, not web view, the vid start page ID is gone in the install script to the next build. I haven't actually looked in Shell 32 to see if it's still used in there, but it's not in the install script. So if they, I think they might have got rid of it for that one. So yeah, that's the start page that's not 